previously on The Biggest Loser. After a tense week, the game took a twist. As of right now, your teams are gone. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm kind of devastated because I don't like anybody on the girls' team. With the teams dissolved, only one contestant would win the power to choose the new duos. Go, Seth. Pete won, and the duos are... Matt and Shannon, Andrea and Mark, Seth and Susie, and Jeff and Pete. In their first challenge as duos, former adversaries found themselves aligned. Let's go, Susie! Ultimately, Seth held on, winning immunity for he and Susie. The new teams faced their first weigh-in as duos. Matt lost an amazing 17 pounds. But Jeff and Pete posted the lowest percentage of weight loss, pushing them below the yellow line. At an emotional elimination, the teams decided that Pete was the biggest threat and sent him home. I'll see you on the outside, buddy. So far, the players have lost a total of 692 pounds. But the biggest loser isn't just about losing weight. It's about changing lives. Now the question that everybody wants answered. Did last year's contestants keep the weight off? I'm Kelly McFarlane. When I arrived on the show, I weighed 223 pounds, and I've lost about 80 pounds. I've been committed to my exercise routine five or six days a week, every week, and keeping it off and feeling great. How much more weight will the duos lose tonight on their way to becoming the biggest loser? respect them. They didn't lie to me, but I still disagree with them. The thing is, some things to me are more important than the game, and I just felt that Pete deserved to stay, and uh, I didn't feel like I should be staying in his place. Look, listen. listen to me, listen to me. I didn't go to my room and feel sorry for myself. I went and worked out an hour last night after the elimination. I did a freaking kick-ass hour this morning, and I'm going to do make the best of my time here. Don't You don't have to say anything. I wouldn't do that to Pete, and I won't do that to myself, okay? You know so, that's the talk I was about to have with you. You don't have to say it. You know, you said I don't quit, I'm not about to. I think Jeff took it pretty hard when Pete was sent home. He realized that, you know, not only did he owe it to Pete to keep going, but he owed it to himself. I decided that I was going to take everyone to the pool. And when we all got into the pool, the guys were just kind of like playing in the water. Get in here, Skinny. The girls knew what was in store for them, but the guys weren't aware that all of a sudden it was like, no joke, it's time to work out. Nobody stop kicking. Keep going. I don't want to work out anymore. One more minute. Now that we are duos, we're doing a lot of group workouts and the guys are in for a treat. Harder. Yeah, harder. Bye. One more minute. Oh. Keep your legs straight. Flat. Big flat. I mean, I didn't expect a workout to be like that in the pool. It was different. It was, it was hard. your 
your temptation. At first, we were all ready to turn around and walk back because we're just getting to that point where you can't afford the extra calories. Then we realized that maybe there's something worth having in there. <laughs> Congratulations! You all get makeovers from the Kristoff Salon in Beverly Hills. I've never had a makeover. The last time I had a haircut was about a year and a half ago. I don't think I need a makeover. Uh, yeah, you, you. <laughs> to get swept away, to get makeovers. These past few weeks have been so stressful on everyone in the house, and I think what better way to take some of that stress away? Today's going to be a good day. Hey, what do you wear to a makeover? I'm just excited for everyone. I mean, there's some guys in the house that have never even been to a salon. You have a good canvas here, so I think that right here we have a little bit too much of volume Do what you here. want. And then this is your canvas. Move. All right. Do what you like. I like the length, and um, I would put highlights in it, but that's about it. <laughs> she seemed to be pretty... <laughs> I'm a hairdresser. Uh, oh, okay. All right. I'm a little apprehensive about uh, what's going to happen today. Do you always wear a bandana? Pretty much. Always. To keep the to keep your hair away from your face. Nah. No. You like your hair? Yeah. Okay. I would keep the hair, keep the curls, but just kind of relayer your hair. I don't want to mull it. No mullet. No. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? <laughs> no. Matt Beverly Hills Salon is like an oxymoron. It just doesn't seem to fit. Like oil and water. It's all about how you're feeling. So. Yeah. I'd pay to have a camera right now. Get a picture of Matt. Hope to see you Thank soon you. again too. I was really, really nervous at first. Really nervous, but um, happy with the results. Well, thanks again. Thank you. Thanks, thank you. thanks a million. Thank you. It's been fantastic. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm Michelle Stanton. I'm the fitness director at Prevention Magazine. We have a makeover for everybody and wardrobe, and then we'll be doing a photo shoot with Gino. And one of you will be featured in Prevention Magazine as one of our success stories. I'm crossing my fingers that um, I have a couple money shots and hopefully get that Prevention Magazine. I wasn't too thrilled about the whole wardrobe and picture thing. I'd rather be home working out. Very nice, Jeff. Great, 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 great. Very nice. You're beautiful, darling. Hold on, one more. It was exciting, and I actually felt like I looked thinner. I don't feel like, you know, a tubbo anymore. Very lovely. Good, 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 good. Hold on. There we go. I mean, it's every girl's dream, you know, get beautiful and be made up. And I think two months ago that this would have been, I would have dreaded it. And now it was, you know, we had a good time. Come on, darling, make love to the camera again for me, please. Very nice. Cool. I was afraid of change, and it's like, this whole journey has been a change for me. In a way... The hair represents part of my past that I need to let go of, and you know, in retrospect, I wish that I would have handled myself differently there. Smile! Hey. Oh, I love it. What's wrong? <laughs> Nicholas's birthday was yesterday. Oh, see, that's... <laughs>
I think that there's some doubt in my desire to be here. There's all this stuff going on around me and at home and, and things that I need to be a part of and I absolutely have no control over anything that's going on outside of here. And um, it was at the point where it was quite overwhelming. <laughs> Everything's falling apart and there's nothing I can do about it. Well, honey, it's not falling apart. <laughs> she was really feeling homesick. And when people get emotional, they tend to want to eat. And Andrea is a classic example of that. When she gets upset about something, she gets homesick, she's going to go to food. So it's a big challenge for me to really help her through that. You're here like changing your life. I mean, you're not just losing, you're not just losing weight. I mean, you're like, you're like finding yourself all over again. You're finding out all different things about yourself. I'm empty. I'm just not as strong as emotionally. You are strong emotionally and you're strong physically. You're just having a rough day right now. I just feel completely helpless. Your world is going to be there no matter what. I mean, everything's going to work out. You don't have any control right now over anything other than what's going on with you right here and right now. It's great to have Bob. You know, he he's one of a kind. And he is a person that can just look into your soul and, and see what you've got going on. And um, there's so much that I will forever think of Bob. In today's challenge, you are going to play for the Diet Right Zero Elimination Pass. That means that the winning team cannot be eliminated this week, no matter how low your percentage is at the next weigh-in. After last week, you all know how important this is because without it, Seth and Susie would have been up for elimination. Immunity is still a factor, and um, that's still my strategy to do what I can to win it, and I think everyone feels the same way. Here's how this challenge works. All you have to do is ride one of those bicycles up the hill. The first player to cross the line wins it for their team. Dr. Jeff, since you lost your teammate, you will be playing alone. Okay, you're playing for immunity. That's great. But you're also playing for a prize that is priceless. So, Andrea and Mark, let's see what's behind your bike. It's your husband, Billy, and Mark's wife, Cynthia. <laughs> We've been stuck here for over two months. So it was great seeing my wife, but I was so caught up in the moment, I tried to figure out who the guy she was with. I'm all like, is that my brother? Who the hell's that guy? Shannon and Matt, let's see what's behind your bike. That's your daughter, Shannon, your dad, too. <laughs> How are you? Look how pretty. It was just, it was good to see her. I haven't seen her in two and a half months. Susie and Seth, let's see what's behind your bike. <laughs> your wife, Chelsea, and your sister. Oh. Oh my God. All I could think when that came down was, I have to hold, I have to run over there and hold her. That's all I could think about. Okay, Dr. Jeff, let's see what's behind your bike. <laughs> His wife's so young. <laughs> His 16-year-old daughter. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so good. I was just beaming. I mean, she looks so beautiful, and uh, the fact that I missed her sweet 16, it was just such a gift to get to see her. Okay, the winning team not only gets immunity, but also gets to spend the evening with their family member. Okay, to make this game fair, we've added extra pounds in addition to your passenger, so that each of you will be pulling your own weight. Everybody, get on your bikes, and I will see you at the finish line. I 
wasn't concerned with ever, anyone but Matt. Matt I, I, seems to be my competition. Going out there, I think. I told my dad, I said, you got to keep an eye on that guy over there, Seth. I said, if he starts coming up, we got to bust that. I said, he's, he's my toughest competition here. On your marks, get set, go! There was 50 yards to go, and that was bad for me because I, I I knew that Matt could be the one to pull it out. It's for the evening, man! Don't let up, don't let up, don't let up. He's gonna get tired. Don't let up, don't let up! Winning is shocking. I, I mean, I didn't know I had that in me. I thought for sure I was going to lose this one. To watch Seth cross that finish line and know that not only we have immunity, he'll get his wife and I'll get my sister was like... Words can't even describe it. No, it's out tomorrow. I don't care. We're going to obvious this <laughs> Sorry, I stayed up with them halfway. I was upset for a minute, but then I looked back and saw Shannon clear at the bottom of the hill with her daughter. I'm sorry. That's okay. So I went back and got her and let them talk. Shannon, she's in a tough spot. She's got a little girl with her that doesn't understand that in a minute, after getting to see her mom for 10 minutes, she has to leave. Don't cry, it's okay. Okay? Is it lonely without me at home? Yeah. yeah. So you know I'll be home soon, right? He, you know, took me to the finish line, and for him to come back and do that, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky to have him as a teammate. All right, congratulations, Seth and Susie. You guys just won immunity. And you both get to spend the rest of the evening with your lovely wife, and you get to spend it with your sister. So congratulations. Yay! The rest of you guys, take a moment to say goodbye to your families, and I will see you all tomorrow at the weigh-in. I've been away from my daughter for two and a half months. It's like, oh, man, like this is going to be so hard. Say goodbye to her and get my head back into The Biggest Loser, the finals. Bye, Bubby. I need you back. I need you back. Seeing Billy, at first it was great and it was wonderful and it, and it, you know, I was on a cloud about it. But it made me realize that where I'm valued the most isn't here, it's at home. You know, it's one of those things like you come to the sudden realization that this is a game and that there's a lot more out there than, you know, the maybe chance that you might win $250,000 and that's your family and that's more than that I could ever win here. <laughs> I love you. Bye, baby. Love you. Our house. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Look at this is the dress I wore last night. Do you remember, like, I was that size in ninth grade? Susie, she just has a glow about her. Like, you know, when you can tell that somebody's happier, she just looks really good. Okay, this whole pan is 180 calories. 
Seth and I made them dinner, and we're talking about calories, and it's become our life. This is good. Mmm. Just to have you here was, I mean, literally priceless. What's happening here is amazing. I mean, you're you're finding yourself again, and I want to be there when you get home, encouraging that, encouraging you to stay happy. Because I didn't have that to offer you. Challenge. Shut up. And we win immunity for another week. <laughs> immunity? I knew it. <laughs> but do you want to know oh what the reward God. was? We got to spend Hello? we got to spend the day with That's our family. Sister. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm Sandy. It's so nice to meet so you. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Nice How are you? Susie, you're Susie's you? sister. Oh my God. What do you think? I love her. I love her. I'm her friend and her trainer. One of the biggest part of this reward for me was that someone so important to me here got to meet someone so important to me in my world at home. What did you think when you saw them? Were you surprised? I mean, it's been like two and a half months since we've both seen right. our loved ones, so I'm like, it's my sister. Right, and then it just so happens that... Improved, oh, right. it's, but it's also my sister. My new and improved sister. I am so proud of your sister. This girl has gone through so many ups and downs, and she just is so empowered. You'll see the gist of it when you get around her. It's like she's unbelievable. I'm just, I just think she's the best. I had shared with him how I was nervous about going home. But then it's like, no, Susie, what are you running from? You're not you're not gonna go back the same way. It was a pleasure meeting both of you. It was so wonderful yes, to meet you. So nice to I don't know. Saying goodbye today, you know, it was tough. But then again, you know, it was motivation, like, okay, you know, I've seen you here, you know where I'm at. I have nowhere to go but up now. Thank you for coming. So glad I got to see you. Love ya. I love you. I love you. Love you too. Bye. I love you. You'll win this. Last chance workout, Jillian. Explode up and then foot, and then foot down. Kendra and I are a team, and I told her last night. I go, you know what? We're the team to beat this week. Even Matt told me last night, he goes, you and Andrea are the team to beat. Good. All the way up to your chest. Come on. Harder. That a girl. Good. This is your last chance. 45 seconds left. The thing I learned about Shannon this week that I didn't know before is how focused she is and how she can pick it up in her workouts. I was really impressed. You have one chance, dog. Your last chance. Oh. All your focus is right there. <laughs> Uh, stronger, uh, harder. I'm a team of one, so it's just me, myself, and I. I'm going to uh, try to stay focused, and I'm going to do everything I can to stay here. I owe it to my wife and kids. I owe it to my colleagues and everybody who sacrificed so I can be here, and I owe it to Pete. And most of all, I owe it to myself. Going to the next win, I feel pretty good. I mean, I can't hide the fact that we're not up for elimination no matter what happens on the scale tonight. I think the reason this weigh-in is probably more important than others have been is I haven't quit. I didn't give up. And if I win this week, I hopefully will be able to prove that to everybody. And I'm not going to waste a single second that I'm here. And by winning tonight, that would prove that I haven't. 
tonight during the weigh-in, it's, it's going to be real close to call. I got some real good workouts in this week, but Dr. Jeff has had four big weeks. Can he pull out a fifth week? I don't know. Everybody, how are you? Great. Good. Tonight, your fate in this game will still be decided by how much weight both you and your partner have lost. The team that has the lowest percentage of weight loss for this week will fall below the yellow line and will be nominated for elimination. So one of you will be going home tomorrow. Jeff, since you don't have a partner, you will be weighing in alone. If you have the lowest percentage of total weight loss this week, then you will be automatically eliminated. Okay, Susie and Seth, for the second week in a row, you won the Diet Right Zero Elimination Pass. You have no chance of being eliminated tomorrow night. But let's see how much weight you lost anyway. Ladies first, Susie. When you first arrived at the ranch, you weighed 227 pounds. And your current weight is... 180, you lost okay. another two pounds. Okay, that's good. Two more than last week. Yeah. Seth, it is your turn. When you arrived at the ranch, you weighed 291 pounds. Current weight is... 232. You lost a pound. Susie and Seth. I thought because they had such low numbers last week that they had high numbers coming this week and um, it was total opposite. So I was like, this could be bad for all of us. Okay, Shannon and Matt, it's your turn. Remember, the most important thing is to stay above the yellow line. Shannon, ladies first. arrived at the ranch, you weighed 257 pounds. And your current weight is... 248. That's right. Four more pounds. Good. Okay, Matt. You're up. Come on, Matt. When you arrived at the ranch, you weighed 339 pounds. Current weight... 254, you lost eight pounds, Matt. Good job. Good job, Matt. When I came here, I was expecting to lose quite a bit of weight. I didn't think I was going to lose it as quick as I have. But just listening to Jillian has been the, the greatest thing I've done for myself. Matt, since you arrived here at the ranch, you have lost 85 pounds. Shannon and Matt, you started the week with a combined weight of 474 pounds. As a duo, you lost 12 pounds. Your combined percentage of total weight loss is 2.53%. Okay, Jeff, you're up next. Remember, since you don't have a partner, if you fall below the yellow line, you will automatically be eliminated. Okay. Okay, let's see. Come on, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. When you arrived at the ranch, you weighed 370 pounds. And your current weight is 284. Yeah. Nice. Wow. 10 pounds. Wow. The guy loses 10 pounds five weeks in a row. Dr. Jeffs asserted himself as one of the key players in this game. All right, Jeff. You started the week at 294 pounds. You lost 10 pounds. Your percentage of total weight loss is... 3.4%. Wow. Congratulations, Jeff. I'm the oldest, and the fact that I've lasted this long is just incredible testament. And 
I really am uh, proud of what I've accomplished here. Because your percentage is higher than Shannon's and Matt's, you have no chance of falling below the yellow line. Matt and Shannon, you guys on the other hand are not yet safe. It's up to you two. Andrea and Mark, you're the last ones to be weighed. All right. In order to beat Matt and Shannon and avoid being nominated for elimination, you need to have lost more than 11 pounds between the two of you. Let's see if you did it. Andrea, you're up first. Let's do it. When you first arrived at the ranch, you weighed 220 pounds. Current weight is... One eighty-four. Well, you still lost another you pound. Gain. That's you right. Gain. You didn't gain. You lost. It's not good though. Sorry, you Mark. You lost a pound. Don't worry about it. It's a pound. It's a pound. So, Mark, this means that you need to lose more than ten pounds in order to send Matt and Shannon below the yellow line. Let's do it. Let's go, Mark. I started sweating because with Mark, 10 pounds isn't that much. It's either or. We're staying or we're going, depending on Mark getting on that scale. When you arrived at the ranch, you weighed 358 pounds. Current weight is... 271 Inside, I was excited. I was screaming. I wanted to jump up and down, but I kept it under control. We're good. I'm so happy we have another week. I know that you're disappointed, but you have lost 87 pounds. That's good. Awesome. Good job, Mark. Mark and Andrea, you started the week with a combined weight of 458 pounds. You lost a total of three pounds. Your percentage of weight loss this week is... 0.66%. That puts you below the yellow line. Congratulations, Dr. Jeff. You lost 10 pounds. That makes you the biggest loser this week. Unfortunately, tomorrow night, you will both be up for elimination and one of you will be leaving the ranch. All right, you guys. Have a good night. We got crushed by everybody. Seeing we got crushed so bad, there's nothing I could have done. I did my best. That's all we can do. Good job. Good Thank job. you. Thank you, everybody. I don't know why I feel the need to say this, but I feel like the hugest pawn in this chess game. Don't keep me here because I'm not a threat or because I don't have a chance to win. Make sure that you think really hard in your decisions. I know that you will. You work your ass off. And it's crappy to keep me here just because, you know, I'm an easy person to beat. Thank you, that was nice. You guys are going to make up your own minds. I work hard. I want to stay. I mean, I don't want to go home. I don't have any reasons why I would want to vote Mark out. Strategy-wise, for me, if I can keep Mark here, that means that I have him that won't vote for me, and more than likely, Dr. Jeff, who won't vote for me. For me personally, my best strategy to stay the longest is to have Mark here. Matt and Mark are such good friends. They get along, they're roommates. If Andrea gets eliminated, then Susie and I might as well kiss this game goodbye. As of right now, 
the only way that I'm going to be happy is if we vote for Mark. Welcome to another elimination. We're going to go around the table and you'll reveal whether or not you voted for Mark or Andrea. Remember, you only get one vote per duo. Dr. Jeff, let's start with you. Who have you chosen to send home and why? A few weeks ago, this would have been a pretty easy decision for me. Since that time, I've gotten to know Andrea a lot better. She's gained my respect, my admiration, and my friendship. I'm thinking about this, Andrea said two things to me last night. First thing she said is, don't keep me here to be a pawn in the game. And I was a little upset about that because I don't play the game that way. And if I played the game, I think Mark would be the obvious choice and would be the biggest threat. The second thing she said to me was to think about who needs to be here the most. And that's the way I look at things. It's for that reason. And I've chosen... Coming up, who will have to pack their bags and say goodbye? And later, the Diet Right transformation. See for the first time what the eliminated player looks like today. Live right. Diet right. So, Dr. Jeff, who have you chosen to send home? Tonight I chose Andrea. That's one for you, Andrea. One more, and you'll be eliminated. Susie, who did you and Seth decide to send home? We made this decision based on our new team being as successful as possible here. The person who we chose to send home is a really strong competitor, has been very successful, and is a very big threat. And therefore, we chose Mark. One. one and one, Mark. Matt and Shannon, your vote will decide who's going home. So, Matt. Andrea, personally for myself, I see her in a whole new light after the stairs. She's ferocious. She competes, and that put her in a whole new respect level for me. I underrated her, and she showed me wrong. Mark has been a dear friend to me since day one, and I couldn't utter a bad word about him. And Shannon and I couldn't agree on who to vote for. And right up until this point, we still didn't know who we were going to vote for. And then it became abundantly clear that a decision had to be made as a team. And a decision was made. And tonight, Shannon and I have voted for... about it man we hit don't don't worry about it we're still friends don't worry about it i understand i i couldn't tell you to vote me out do not worry about it do not worry about it we <clears throat> we had to come together and mark has been as precious and true of a friend as you're gonna find here and it crushes me tonight to say his name don't worry about it. You just do good. M Matt and I had a conversation. I guess he wanted me to say, go ahead and vote for me. It's okay. But I couldn't do that. But I can understand why he had to do it. I completely understand why he had to do it. And I'm still going to be his friend on the outside. I, I don't... You had to do it. Don't feel bad. I don't want you feeling bad. Okay, Mark, I'm very sorry, but you are not the biggest loser. I've lost 87 pounds. I'm leaving here a winner as far as I'm concerned.
I made a decision, I made a life choice to lose weight. If you don't make up your mind to do something, you're not going to do it or you're going to fail. You're setting yourself up for failure. But I made that choice to lose weight and I went at it, which is I understand why I'm leaving today. Is it time for me to go now before I start crying again? Well, if you'd like to say goodbye to your teammates, then you could leave. Here, buddy. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. I was eliminated tonight due to the fact that I've lost 87 pounds and I have the highest percentage. Last week, I said you got to play the game. So for me to be mad at Matt, I'd be a hypocrite. I understand. I completely understand. And we'll be friends after the show is long over. I know we will. The one thing I didn't expect here is to make friends that I made. You spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week with these people. You just make such good friends here, and that's what I'm going to miss. America, next time you see me, I'll be between 190 and 200 pounds. Guaranteed. I know I'm going to have success out in the real world, and I wouldn't want to disappoint Jill, and I told her not to worry about me. I'm not winning the $250,000, but I've lost 87 pounds, and if that doesn't make me a winner, I don't know what does. Good, dude. I was always wondering what was inside that big old body. <laughs> we plan on working together on both of us losing weight, because I want to look as hot as he does. I like the new hairdo. What do you call it, Spike? Yeah, no, that's yeah, good. That's styling. When I got home, Today and started to unpack, I found a letter from Matt. I miss you and I hope that we will still be friends. I'm sorry I couldn't keep you. Your friend, Matt Hooper. And it just said, you know, I knew he had to do it. So, you know, Matt, I forgive you, man. When I first got to the ranch, I was 358 pounds and currently I'm 228 pounds. So that's a total weight loss of 130 pounds. Before I was on the show, I had about a half an inch between myself and the steering wheel. And now I have about a foot and a half. I'm actually one of the smaller guys at work now. I've never seen my dad this skinny before, so I'm really proud of him and I'm rooting for him and I'm with him 110%. I would say if it's good now, America, what do you think? Six contestants remain, and once again, the game will change. It's every man and woman for themselves. The teams are gone. Game on. And in a biggest loser first, one of them will face their biggest nightmare, a weigh-in that will leave you speechless. It's all leading to the live November finale. All new Biggest Loser next Tuesday, 8, 7 central. And to be a part of the Biggest Loser 3, go to NBC.com now. Now, Jason Lee stars in an all-new My Name is Earl, coming up next right here on NBC.